Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer and we are returning to Rule the Waves 2 where we are thinking about designing a battle cruiser. So we are currently running a deficit but that is going to resolve itself very soon as we are finishing up some of our light ship building. Especially these destroyers and light cruisers of the new Raleigh class should be coming in online very soon so that is going to be nice. We've thought a little bit about the... so right now we have only three destroyer classes so that's very nice. Uh, the berry classes we are going to keep them around because of the anti-submarine warfare capabilities we have a couple of light carriers we have a couple of carriers as uh, we have a relatively large number of light cruisers for now especially the oakland and chicago class are a little bit older especially the chicago class to be honest i'm not sure whether we want to keep these guys around um they don't really have a good armor distribution they have some torpedo tubes but not that many they have a little their speed is okay, they do carry some mines, but you know what, I think all in all, these guys can probably go. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's scrap these guys, save some money um, that we will be well advised to spend on modernizing our forces. Uh, the Oakland classes I'm going to keep around because they are capable of mining, uh, they are also not a cramped accommodation, so that is going to be fine. Good. Let's design a ship and let's design a battle cruiser. That let's auto design it. Uh, let's auto design it, and that's certainly an interesting proposition by the game over here. Let's uh, dial up on the gun caliber a little bit. Let's um, go a little bit more. Sorry for the forward superimposed ones. We're gonna delete the aft turret. That's gonna be fine. You would be an okay ship. I think we can go towards the maximum ship size that we can build, which is for 4, uh, 43,000 tons. Speed, um, let's try to go for a long range, reliable engine type of thing. Oil I think is going to be alright. This is all good. Two firing positions seems to be fine to me. Shower touring arcs, um, can we update the ship graphic? This is looking a little bit funny. But you know what, I'm not going to fret about that. 6 inch secondary gun, 6 inch secondary guns and maybe yeah let's go for, th for 3 inch tertiary guns in turrets of 2 let's dial this up as much as possible yeah this is still considered okay uh, do we want 16 secondary guns 8 per side that seems a little bit excessive to me on the other hand this is supposed to be a cruiser killer so ultimately it might not be not be the worst decision. Ooh, we have two... Wait a minute, do we have catapults? I thought we had none. Alright. You know what, I'm fine with this. 250 tons for two aircraft? I think that's going to be very nice. Yeah, I think that's a very good addition. I am extremely worried about the armor though. That seems... That seems really, really bad, actually. Right, so I think we need at least 11 here. Uh, on the deck armor, I would at least prefer six, six inch, six inches on on deck armor. Let's go at least for the turret top to to six, and the turrets should be a little bit better armored. Conning tower as well, and then we'll have to dial in a little bit on the belt armor. But this is so. We can't go for narrow, or we'd lose the all or nothing ammo scheme. Torpedo defenses, we do need to make them as as such. Yeah, you're seriously overweight. Style down with the speed a little bit. You're considerably overweight still. What's the gun data telling us? So yeah, I think the game in, in late game does underestimate the uh, importance of deck armor a little bit. Deck armor is more important at extreme ranges. Belt armor is more important at, at lower ranges. But this seems to be a little bit fine. It has a very small immunity zone actually because we need better deck armor for for the long range engagements. So we could go with magazine box and that would considerably considerably do things for us. Well, I don't think it's that important though. We only have two turrets so the magazines will be fairly limited anyway. We don't necessarily have to make you long range. We could go for medium range and I think that is a good idea. 
Maybe a single plane is going to be all right. Yeah, I think so. And you know what? We can get rid of the swivel mounts. You can just launch, just launch from standing initially in the battle, and that's going to be all right. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with this. Good. Yeah, I know. We, we do need some guns on each side. It's supposed to be a cruiser killer again, so... Yeah. Can't do 11. Can we do... No. Obviously we cannot. Okay, so let's spend the rest on the conning tower. I think that's a good idea. Turrets? Nope. Yeah, let's do it like that. Some weight remaining. I think this is a fine. Yes, 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 we know. Um, consternation. Lexing. I think Lexing is fine. There we go. It's going to take some months to design this, but that's all right. Increased naval spending. That's also very good to see. Soviet government. No, 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 no. We're not going to sell anything to the Soviets. The evil communists. Have to do a little role playing over here. So, yeah. Um, our forces disposition is okay, I would say. Pretty much no one in the uh, France. We have a lot of guys in the North Northern European theater, of course. Rebellion Falklands continues. Do we want to send someone over there? German government? Um, nope. We are going to keep that to ourselves. How many ships are still under constru construction? Quite a couple. Britain has crossed the Falklands. Colorado has finished her working up. That's nice to see. Three destroyers being finished. Sierra Leone. Yes. Let's send forces there. Spiraled out of control. You're criticized. No, no, no. Yeah. But we are seeing some, some increased tensions over here. And that's very nice to see. Flying boat squadron being re-established. The Japanese are getting a new fighter. Just one more month till we get the design study. That means that we can then spend some money. So that is certainly important. Improved heavy NDR effectiveness. That is very nice to see. And improved model of our medium bombers. That does carry the same amount of payload. Toughness firepower is all the same. But the range is much extended. And it has better speed. Lovely. Yeah, and we're going to build the black sink. It's going to be extremely expensive, so we can only build one for now. Please do call it the Lexington. So there we go, yeah. 1.5 million loss making every turn. But this thing here is going to be finished very soon. We might be alright. Let's see. Next turn. Stuart is commissioned. No, no, I don't want to get more aircraft. New fighter is operational. We are still losing some money, but we do have enough for two turns. Still not going to sell any technology. Could put bigger destroyers, but that's not necessarily important. How are we looking in terms of money? Still loss making. Yeah, but there's no way how we can could send you guys to reserve, or at least the Arizona class to reserve. Maybe that would save us quite a bit of money. But I don't, I don't think that it's that nice. Yeah, we're gonna want another Raleigh class. Oh, I wanted to re uh, rename these ships as well. Great Britain. Increased tensions with Great Britain. What could possibly go wrong? A new medium bomber. So we currently have two guys in service really I, I, I don't quite remember seeing this one. Oh no of course yeah yeah no no so same payload slightly higher toughness slightly better maneuverability more firepower equal range lower speed so better toughness and better maneuverability and fire so it's better at air combat but that's not what really concerns me no I don't want that Okay, still losing money, especially as we are getting this new Raleigh class um, being built over here. But, yeah. Flipping. Okay, let's see. 
So we could, you would get a new float plane. Same bomb load, slightly worse maneuverability, worse range, better speed. No. We do want range. And we are out of money. So um, let's actually hold the construction of this here for a second and hold the construction of. You know what? Let's hold the construction of the ones that's furthest progress because then we'll be getting all of them more or less at the same time. And you know what? That might make sense this way. Yeah. So now we're gaining some money. Not too much, but I think all in all, that's fine. Let's go for medium spend in R&D over here. Oh, R&D, we need to dial that up again as well. Um, no, 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 no. We are not going to sell anything. More medium bombers. Interesting. Right. So this one has better speed. Much better range. That's an extremely better range. Firepower, toughness, all of these are... This is a very good plane. Same payload, torpedo capable. Yes, yes, of course we're going to use that. Right. Good. Is anyone obsolete? Yeah, you guys here are the hull class destroyers. Shall we refurbish you? I mean, all in all, you're decent ships. We could do dual purpose guns. That wouldn't be the worst. Yeah, I think that's actually a good, good change. Yeah. Okay, so that's okay. Let's rebuild all of these guys. There we go. Shouldn't cost us too much. Yeah, we're losing some money now, but it's really minimal, so that's okay. Right. Good. Lexington class is going to take for ages, but we are probably going to get some more money as well. The Invincible, of course we know about this one. Develop an improved version of the medium bombers here. There's a lot of development going on with these ship uh, aircraft types. Italian ship, heavy cruiser, again, 10 tension 10 inch guns. They are building so weird ships. I really struggle to see that. No, 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 no. Mm, and a new fighter type, or an update of the fighter type. It's just able to carry a small bomb load. That's all right. It's nothing too important. Right, anything else? Yeah, you guys are obsolete, and you are costing us more money than all of these other guys down here. Now, can we rebuild you? 35 costs. It's basically nothing. But then again, these destroyers have finished their reconstruction. More naval spending, that's nice. And the French battlecruiser, also 916 inch guns. Interesting, but only very little deck armor. So we'd be doing good at, um, at fighting them at extreme ranges. Right, so where are the rebuilt destroyers? I think that was the hull class, right? Yeah, 1933. So, please all be reserve fleet. And we have 1.6 million. But building a battle cruiser costs 4.7, so we don't really have the money for that. I suppose what we could do is resume the construction of this Raleigh class. Let's resume this one as well. We're going to halt the construction of this one. And that's all right. Yeah, there we go. Which is the most likely enemy? Well, I think it's without doubt Frost. We might end up at war right now. Improved readying time for aircraft, that's nice to see. New French torpedo bombers, new improved model of the flying boat, Martin. I kind of lost track whether these are, yeah. So same payload, same overall capability, somewhat better range, so you've just gotten a better engine, that's nice. Right, so yeah, France is very close to ending at, at war with us, so 
Let's uh, resume the construction on this one over here and then I think we'll have to do some mobilization because yeah, pretty much war is imminent here. So yes, I do think we'll have to mobilize. It's probably going to be the last war for the Montana. Can we go for mobilization here? Yes, yeah, we are losing some money now. But I think very soon we might end up in war against France. So it's good if these guys do train up their crew quality. Yeah, and you know what? Let's open this design for rebuild. Simply give it a new paint job. That's okay. Yes, and thank you. And let's get all of these guys rebuild. The Kingfisher class. Yes. 16 ships taken in for rebuild. It's only going to take three months, so probably we're going to be fine. Next turn. Disarmament conference. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh, 13 inch guns. That's nice, but pretty meaningless. Still losing some money. But yeah, we're going to get the first Raleigh class next turn. So I think at that point we are going to be fine in terms of money. Strengthen the Navy. Increase railroads. Or modest social programs. Strengthen the Navy. So reloads for deck mounted torpedo tubes. Hmm, that would be nice. And we are in war against France. And there is a first cruiser action. Let's accept that battle and see whether what's gonna come out of this. So we are here again. It's it's the situation where we are building battle cruisers. We are in a situation where we do have light cruisers. The Cleveland class, two Cleveland class destroyer, uh, light cruisers. Uh, the good thing is, no, it's actually morning, early morning. Well, but, but the good thing is we are close to home waters, so I think that's going to be all right. Um, let's take some time over here to see whether we can get into contact. Usually you do fairly soon in these types of engagements. Come on, there's the morning line. Let's go to very fast. And I think we'll probably see someone now. Yeah, we do. Interesting. So yeah, here's the heavy cruiser of the French. Eight eight-inch guns, three-inch belt armor. 30 knots. 10,000 or so? Yeah, 10,000 tons. And 10 5 inch guns. So we'd be subject to 8 8 inch guns. And we have 10 6 inch guns. We are much worse. We're in a much worse state. But you know what? We are building new cruisers. So let's try to get up here with max speed. And hopefully we are going to be helped out by some of our. Some of our. Naval or air bases. I think here in Portland we should have an air base here. Well, I'm not too sure how many actual combat aircraft we have got over there. Anyway, let's resume time over here. Let's try to remain in contact. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, these are torpedoes. They must have been air launched from, from our uh, aircraft actually. Not too sure what this is. Or there is some other ship up here that we can't see yet. Yeah, there we go. More more, more torpedoes being launched at this heavy cruiser. Which I appreciate a lot. The hull is suffering quite a bit of damage. No hits on, on the heavy cruiser though. So um, let's actually declutter the interface here a little bit. So Clarksville is being fired upon. I think what we probably want to do is get as close as possible. That would, ooh, no, wait a minute. This already has suffered medium damage and it's lost one of its turrets. So that means we can probably stay at this range. Cleveland is opening fire now. Okay, these destroyers are a little bit annoying. Your job is screening, okay. And you're doing this. Can you declutter a little bit? Yeah, there we go. Fine. And we are firing on them. And their secondary battery in particular is not engaged. Now it is. On the hull class. Okay. We are firing at the extreme end. <laughs> I was just about to say. We are firing at the extreme end of our range over here. Uh, but we are scoring some hits. So that's nice to see. And I think the ooh, Clarksville turret class. Turret hit. It's no good. Have we lost any turrets so far? No, not yet. 
Come on. Yeah, now they are out of range. Ah, and Clark's little secondary battery has been hit. So some damage over there. We can see the red bar appearing. I think their ship is running significantly lower speed than us. Right now, yeah, 20 knots. But soon we should be able to engage again. There we go. Clarksville should be firing now. Do we get a new report? It's probably this one. Okay, let's start, try to stick in range. How is this guy looking? So all of its turrets are back in action, but curiously only the frontal turrets are firing on us. That means it might already have exhausted its ammo on the rear turrets. That'd be extremely fun. And there we go, another hit on them, so that's good to see. I think soon they should not be able to engage us anymore with the frontal turrets. Yeah, there we go. And we actually scored some hits, probably took out this turret, and the front one is not in able to engage us anymore. Let's change course a little bit. Yeah, only our frontal turrets aren't firing anymore. But his turrets aren't, so that's still a net win, I think. There we go, another 6-inch hit. They're not doing that badly over here, considering our ships are much, much lighter than his. I mean, he's 10,000, we are what? 8,000. But we're 8,000 each, it also has to be said, to be fair. Yeah, now we are firing all guns, so that's good to see. And he is not firing any. But we had extreme ranges over here, so let's start to come a little bit more directly towards him. Mm, let's take five minute turns. No hits there, but we are firing. He is going, what, 25 knots? Oh, it's not too slow. Ooh, and he's now firing medium guns, so that's probably these rear turrets. He's severely outgunning us now. Martin sees strike takeoff from Naval Air Station. That's nice, so we'll get some air support. I think we'll just want to keep close to this guy. Yeah, let's take five minute turns. No real change so far. Clark's little turret back in action, that's nice. That will be helping us out. Yeah, but you can see we are nearly running at the same speed. 30 knots. We would do good in, in hitting one of his engines. I mean, we have one knot speed difference on him. But they are firing three, medi three medium guns, is a little bit weird, but... They are firing on us. We don't seem to be firing on them, are we? 66% ammo. But I want to keep in vision range over here, just so we can guide in the aircraft. Also, the wind is not exactly blowing in our favor. It's coming from the rear, so the smoke will be going in front of us a little bit. Although at 31 knots, I would I would suppose that there is not. Ooh, hit on, on these guys. They're starting to change course a little bit. They're coming back, so that's okay. What have we got? Yeah, we are all firing. I think they are still out with their frontal turret. No, they actually lost a rear turret as well. Nice. Good work. Ah, but Cleveland turret is jammed. You did not actually suffer any hits, so why are you damaged? So just the damaged turret. Yeah, and there's another hit on them. And any of these hits might be causing their speed to fall. Heavy damage. I don't believe heavy damage. It's way too fast for heavy damage. But it's starting to fall behind a little bit, isn't it? Rear turret isn't back in action, though. But we are scoring hits. We definitely are. But I think some of our turrets... Ooh, we are being hit here with a medium gun. But I think some of our frontal turrets here... 403 doesn't have any armor left. 
which is why it's not firing. At this point, I think it would be okay for you to fire a high explosive if that's literally all you've got. Yeah, still some hits. I appreciate that. Heavy damage. I don't believe that. Okay, it's turning away. It will give us a window of firing more guns on him. There we go, two hits. How are your turrets looking? Yeah, two of them out of action, but the frontal turret is in action. And they are actively firing on us, so probably that's why they took that little detour. Clarksville is starting, ooh, nice hit there. More hits, continue to, yeah, two hits, nice. Where's our air support? Clarksville engine room hit, ah, god damn it. Oh, that, that was a good hit from them. And it's completely, haha, <laughs> so it's, yeah, max speed is one. Basically took out the engine room of the Clarksville. Clarksville near miss. We've hit them. Can we detach um, the Cleveland by hand? Max speed, yeah. I don't think we can detach them by hand. It's, it's funny that the Clarksville hasn't detached itself. Clarksville limits flooding. Yeah, okay, but your flooding is fine. You just lost any speed. Cleveland is starting to run low on ammo as well. Clarksville has been falling, falling behind a little bit. Cleveland is still taking out the... Uh, yeah, I do want to touch her. Uh, you, sir, can certainly stop as well. Right, and you are now... Trying to catch up, but is this too big a fish to fry? Okay, let's come in with the destroyers. Maybe we're going to score some hits here. That might be very helpful. I think at some point the Clarksville itself will suffer some problems. Brewclaw hit, yep, more aircraft taking off. Oh, we are being hit over here, the Cleveland. No, it's a near miss. So no damage there. And our destroyers are coming in, at least the Paul Jones is. Yeah, but no real air support. Clarksville is out of action and goes to AI. That's okay. Brew class is starting to fire on the destroyer. Right. And the destroyer should be able to torpedo it, potentially at, at the very least. Torpedo hit, torpedo explosion. No good. One of your torpedo lines did get hit there pretty badly. A couple of four inch guns hit. Hits on this guy. Supposedly heavy damage. Don't quite believe that. Okay, you guys, your target is obviously this ship. Three inch gun hit. Yeah, look at that. The frontal turret doesn't have any ammo left. <laughs> so all of your torpedo tubes are destroyed? No, actually it's the... It was hit on the same torpedo tubes as the first time. Could you rake this a little bit more heavily? Come on. Why don't you... Why don't you shoot? Lots of hits on this guy. It's mostly with very small guns though. Oh, there we go. Torpedoes have been launched. Three torpedoes. Oh, come on. That definitely passed through there. Okay, let's run all of these guys somewhat in this direction. 
and the Cleveland we're gonna send a little bit parallel towards this the wooden hull wooden hull okay so probably this guy has been hit Have we hit his rudder or something? Why is he doing something weird like this? That does make him extraordinarily difficult to to hit with torpedoes, though. Yeah, but I think he is he has his has his rudder damaged. That's why it's taking such a funny little turn. You still have all of your torpedoes. Let's at least try to run that. Let's go like this. Cleveland, you can come closer. Yeah, there we go. Some torpedoes have been launched, but it's impossible to hit them like this. More or less, at least. Yes! I say that and immediately it gets hit by a torpedo. Okay, let's get all of you guys out of there. I think you did a very fine job. Now the Cleveland does need to rake it. And they are firing. They're definitely not out of action, and they are starting to run straight now. I think the Cleveland itself might have some torpedoes left. It's suffering light damage, and it seems to be slower than it was before. It's starting to turn away. I think that's simply... You have some torpedoes left. Let's go with Cranny Nods. And you all took some damage, so that's okay. Come on. Can you torpedo them, please? Well, they are taking, they are turning, so it would be very difficult to actually take them out. Cleveland near miss. Are we winning this gun battle? Potentially not. I think we only have one turret firing on them. They've got one turret firing on us, but theirs is much heavier, of course. Cleveland near miss. Cleveland pass through and a belted. Cleveland superstructure hit and a belted. Cleveland another hit. Okay, they are they are starting to find their mark now. And we are very low on ammo. Oh, but they are turning away. That's good to see. Also, one of their turrets uh, permanently out of action. And our rear turrets are firing now. Uh, but we're being hit. You know what? I think we have to break off this engagement. And let's simply... Sort of around this way. There's the Oakland. Oh, I think the Oakland is one of our older uh, destroyers, light cruisers. There's actually a lot of our older light cruisers over here. Let's dial down on the speed a little bit. They must be over here somewhere. Let's go to ultra fast. I think we can return to Boston. Some some of our aircrafts are running this way. But oh well. They've suffered heavy damage, but nothing more, so... Hmm, not sure. We have suffered some da heavy damage on our destroyers. So not a very big battle. Um, do let me know whether you like to see these kinds of battles. Um, or whether I should simply uh, jump ahead uh, when that occurs. So yeah, but for now, I think this is fine. Couple of guys that do need some repairs. Most importantly, these light cruisers and the destroyers. Nothing too major though. So all in all, I think we are fine over here. Lots of ships on active station. You're costing us a million in upkeep. That's amazing. Right. Uh, all of you guys will go to trade protection. Yes, please. That's certainly not enough. We do need a little, 14 more. So let's actually pick these guys up here. I think the Barry classes. You're fairly good anti-submarine warfare capabilities. 
Nope, no, 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 not to Foreign Station, to Trade Protection. There we go. Still need about eight chips more. It's probably going to have to be the Hull classes. That's only six. Ah. So the flosses. Maybe some light carriers. That might not be a very bad idea. Saratoga, I don't want to put on, on that duty. Maybe some light cruisers. I don't have that many is the issue. I do have the Oaklands. Okay, let's take these three, these two Oakland classes. You're going to go for trade protection. And then one more. That's going to be the Pueblo. There we go. That's enough. Ooh, still not enough anti-submarine warfare capabilities. Hmm. Yeah, but we're going to get the uh, Corvettes next turn, so I think that's going to be all right. Gonna get quite a couple of things next turn. Let's build a couple of the land forts as well. Six more, I think that's fine. Right, we're losing some th through attrition anyway, so that's okay. Right, so next turn we'll build up our forces. We're gonna decide where to engage um, and what to do. They're fairly distributed all over the place, um, but I think we're gonna be in a very good position to fight them. Uh, let's briefly look over here. So they've got um, the same number of battleships. Ours are bigger though. They do have a lot of battle cruisers, which we do not have. Um, they don't have any carriers. Certainly interesting. Right. For now, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.